Well, TPP is a Trans-Pacific Partnership. Uh, it's a, an agreement between Australia and 11 countries. The government would like you to believe designed to allow you a free trade between those countries and reduce tariffs and the like. But it's a whole lot more than that. The government is hell-bent on trying to bring in these free trade agreements because at the end of the day, they're looking after the big end of town. They want multinational corporations to make maximum profits and one of the ways to do that is through these free trade agreements. As a nurse, I'm very concerned about the, the pharmaceutical aspect of this. Now at the moment, people have a, these companies have a patent for different medications. Well, that patent would run out, and when that patent ran out, it meant that another company could start a, a cheaper version of it, a generic brand. But with the TPP, these companies decide, well, we can just change a little bit. So we can just say, instead of 500 milligrams of a particular medication in that tablet, we can change it to 510 milligrams, and therefore the patent can restart again. And they can keep doing this and doing this and doing this, which means that generic medications would be lost to the everyday consumer. The TPP doesn't provide real opportunities for Australians. The government would like people to believe that this is going to open up trade and allow cheaper products to come in and out of the country, but the reality is that's not the case. The TPP allows workers from six countries to come to Australia to perform work even if there are Australian workers that are ready and available to do that work. There is also some very real concerns that the qualifications of these overseas workers won't be adequately assessed against Australian standards. What about the fact that these multinational corporations can sue our government and my taxpayers' dollars and your taxpayers' dollars can be used against us? And it's about time both sides of government stood up for the Australian people and not, and not for uh, multinational companies making a quick buck. The, the TPP is going to have long-term consequences for Australian families. Uh, if we look at the labour, obviously, you know, if there's more people that can come into this country, unemployment rates are at you know, record highs for youth in this country, we're not providing opportunities for young people. We just can't let this happen to our country. This is coming up in just not that far away and we need you to say no, we don't want this, we certainly don't need it. We can do a lot better than this. The reality for the TPP for Australians and Australian citizens is uh, they are allowed to, um, through a process uh, called the ISDS, uh, a sue, so foreign companies can sue uh, the Australian government. For example, if a company purchases into the power industry uh, and then a state government decides to um, bring that back into government ownership, so it's been privatised previously, they want to bring that back into government ownership, then that foreign company can actually sue the Australian government. So decisions that are made um, overseas can be incorporated into a situation where Australian taxpayers are, are being sued by foreign companies because of this ISDS clause that's in the Free Trade Agreement. Under this Free Trade Agreement, the TPP, there's a thing called labour mobility which will allow overseas workers to come to our country do the jobs that Australians have got the skills, experience and qualifications to do. If there's workers that are available to do these tasks in Australia, then they should be provided the first opportunity. The other impact of the TPP, which we've seen through the China Free Trade Agreement, is workers, when they are brought in from overseas, uh, they're being underpaid, they're putting in high-risk industries, they're not given the tools they need to do the job uh, safely and correctly, and they're being exploited. And there's been numerous cases right around Australia where we've seen this time and time again. And the TPP, uh, all that will do is exacerbate that situation. What we're seeing is a race to the bottom, where staff are given no job security, no uh, decent wages and conditions, they're casualised. The TPP will threaten to make that an everyday occurrence so that the working rights that we take for granted in this country will be no more. The, the TPP has raised some real serious concerns for all Australians. Um, we need to get together, we need to send a clear message to the federal government that we shouldn't be signing off on our sovereignty. We shouldn't be taking opportunities away from older Australians, younger Australians, and we certainly shouldn't be putting ourselves in a situation where multinational corporations can sue us.
please contact your local member, your local senator, AFTINET, and please tell them no, we do not need this. The federal government needs to get a clear message that they shouldn't be passing the enabling legislation which allows the TPP to come into effect. This isn't a good deal for Australia and we should oppose it.